What, what, what is... No, should little... we cut that, or should we just, like, shame him? I, I was just like... <laughs> <laughs> how's, how's your dog doing? So anyways, no, we're actually going to show you some cool boas. So the boa that he's looking at right right now, this is the homozygous expression of the fire. So the fire, this would actually be, uh, this, is, this is a boa constrictor. So this is the super form of the fire gene. So this is leucism and boa constrictors. And uh, so black eye leucistic, just amazing. They call this uh, princess diamond. So the female is called Princess Diamond, the male is called Emperor Diamond, and the person that created these is Jeremy Stone. Oh, what the yeah, hell, Gianni? What, what, what is... No, 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 Gianni yeah, just no, ruined it. Like, no, should little... we cut that, or should we just, like, shame him? No, I was just like... How hey, dare you, Gianni? Hey, you ruined the flow. Hey, G, like us. What's going on, guy? So... <laughs> hey, dude, how's, how's your dog doing? Okay. He got it out of his system. Look, Kevin's much better now. <laughs> I was trying to tell you about this lovely leucistic boa. <laughs> so, uh, and we have, what's interesting about this, we have a little bit of bleed through. So this is called paradox. And this is basically when the genes leak a little bit and they show some of the underlying uh, mutations. So we have, you know, the cowrie tick would be a great expression or example of this expression of all this paradoxing. But some of these... Uh, Boas that Jeremy was making with the Central American gene starts having some of this leak through, so you can see that. Point at the paradox, Jeremy, because I don't know if people know what a paradox is. That's a, is that a tick? Is yeah. that a bite? Yeah. Do you keep these animals in these little bins? Yes. Yes, yes we, we do. do. With no bedding. We just put these animals in these bins. No water either. Yeah. We're I, savages. I, least, okay, guys, they do have air holes. Okay, oh. so at least we go there. You're welcome. At least they can breathe. breathe well, dude, people left enough comments about there not being air holes, we had to put air holes in. This is so re <laughs> so ridiculous. You know, in the, we're in a day and age where we always have to explain ourselves for everything. And I generally don't like to explain myself at all. Mm. So we're going to... So this right here, this is actually... This is an albino, but this is the sharp albino. So we have the call albino and then the sharp albino. They are not compatible. So there are two different albinos that initially look the same, but they don't occur at the same locus site or at the very least they're not allelic. But uh, clearly it's a different locus site. So the sharp albino, and then we have blood and uh, hypo. So that's really, really pretty. Can you are you doing Can you model the snakes well? correctly, Jerry? I'm about right. to say, I don't This I thing don't likes know. to wrap. If we, Jeremy is a prettier girl, this would be way better. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> like so they it. call this fire opal. This has nothing to do with the fire gene. So the people that are doing the, uh, the hypo blood calls and the hypo blood sharps come up with these different names and so it's, it's a little bit confusing sometimes because we involve the word fire and fire is generally uh indicative of the leucistic gene from jeremy stone can you get the color on the thing i'm pretty yeah. sure we have the color pretty sure people are seeing it just really pretty one thing you can really note is the eyes there's a lot of saturation in the eyes We got it. Cool. So if we want to look at a completely different thing than that, let's look. This is really nice. This is a, an IMG. This is a particularly wonderful combo. So the IMG is increasing melanin gene. So they start out very dark, just a single gene expression. But when you add motley and arabesque to this, you even make it blacker. So this animal, as it grows, is going to turn very, very black. So we pretty much have black patternless sides. And you can see that motley 
going through, then you also have arabesque. And that's a very pretty little snake. Do you want to talk about the hypo sterling? You probably know more about the sterling gene than I do. We probably know about the same. Well, the yeah, sterling the, the, gene. St the sterling gene makes a... Uh, wow. Dude, you need need more magic. I need more magic. Kevin has Girl, magic. You gotta flow. So you gotta get a little further up here. Yeah. <laughs> Slow it down. Just let him catch up to it. See, here at Newing Reptile, being responsible snake handlers, we do co-handling. That way we make sure 100% of the animal is supported. It's a good idea, really. More people should do this. People will comment about that. See, it's behaving itself now. You gotta work in teams. So this is the hypo, Sterling. This is, uh, he's just moving. Yep. Doesn't want anything to do with any of it. But if you look at it, look at the back. So you get this beautiful patternless stripe. So what's interesting about, a little bit about the boa thing with uh, striping is the, the initial striping of boa constrictors or, and even jungles was very um, iffy because a lot of times you would, your expression of the stripe would not be, every snake would not be striped. In fact, very few snakes would actually be striped. A lot of time you don't get partial striping. So the sterling really kind of ramps it up and we get a lot of uh, striping and we get this blank out. It's just, it's kind of like a greenish color. He says he will not submit. How about that? The stripe. This thing is already not happy. I wonder if you're just really good at making them not really happy. Maybe. Because the. Hey, G, what are you doing? Well, why don't you tell me what the super striped boa constrictor is? <clears throat> it's a super striped boa constrictor. Wow, that's amazing. I know. Well, can you tell me it's more about it? So, so here we're talking about, okay, so we have a striped boa, but I was talking about the expression <gasps> of, of, of stripeism. Ready? We're going to go on your, your bite shot. Ready? Go for the bite shot. <gasps> so if I go over to the snake real slowly and give this guy a chance to figure it out, he just, notice how he doesn't even bite me? Damn it. So the, the biting and all the hissing and huffing is pretty much just kind of keep me at bay and slow me down. So if I work around that, but well, I'm moving my hand around. So this is a, a perceived threat. Look at he's following my hand. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. We're we going to get demonetized. <laughs> Literally though. So it's, it's probably not very hard to bring him down. So what you've got to do is you, you basically. So this is turning into a Jay Brewer video. Really? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> so this guy basically has anxiety. That's all it is. He's got anxiety of your camera. That's for sure. Notice how he's not biting the handler. Hi, buddy. God, I'll patrol you. We just want to get... No, it's me. <laughs> Think about it. All right, so now <laughs> we are thinking. Now we are thinking. See? And this is supportive therapy. So this is a positive little thread. So the threads I do with all my monitors also work with snakes. But these are very hard to achieve to get these. So sometimes we can do something with uh, the IMG and the jungle and the VPI T positive. And that will actually make some, uh, I guess, some very nice striped animals. You did an amazing job. Thank you. That was all me talking. You, you, didn't, you didn't cry. I didn't cry. Even when Kevin got bit, I didn't cry. I didn't get bit! Nothing happened. Look, nothing. I was only joking no about No blur, it didn't happen. Paramedic. <laughs> Are you reading anything up the side? I, I wanted to make sure I knew what this crazy thing is. It's pretty... <laughs> First of all, this is a sharp albino once again. So if I was looking at this visually with the call albino and the sharp albino, you cannot just sit there and stare at them. And especially when we also involve the lipstick... Uh, albino into the, the call line. Some of the lipstick albinos are so crazy looking, they almost look like they're blood boas. They're, if you really see the real stuff that Pete has, it is unbelievable. So this is a, a sharp hypo jungle. And what I really like about this, if I look by the tail, is right along that edge. That that tail is kick butt. A lot like glowing. Beautiful snake. This this thing is just a gem. Look at that. 
She is glorious. It's kind of cool too. You can take the Aztec gene and mix in all this. And the Aztec, uh, I have a really pretty Aztec hypoalbino, and it looks like it's like a blood boa. In fact, I might have to pull that snake out and just show it off. Maybe it's not shedding. Because Jeremy's going to do the next thing. Do the next one. Sure. Are you going to do the paradigm hypo? No, I'm going to do the paradigm. Is Jeremy going to do this one or is, is Kevin going to take over two minutes in? Kevin's going to oh, take Kevin's over left. two minutes in. He's going to kick the <laughs> ice. Jeez. So this is a uh, paraglow head blood. So <clears throat> bring this is Kevin the, back. Br so, oh. <laughs> oh, right. That's what the comment section is going to say. No. <laughs> Keep going. So this is a uh, paradigm. Uh, <clears throat> Excuse me. Oof. Oh, look, he's so back. He's look, back. he couldn't he's resist. Back. He's back. Hurry up before he gets here. He's, this is, all, this is really cool. Out. This is a snake. <laughs> I had to get all that in there real quick. <laughs> well, okay, as you were. Oh, man. Okay, so this is Paradigm, uh, Hypo, and Albino. Hat. Or is, is that the... Cause, yeah, because this is the Paraglow. Okay. You say so. That's, I don't. This shows you how stupid I am about that. <laughs> oh, it's a het. No, it's a het blood. There we yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. That's what makes it look there. Okay, it's a, it's the het blood gene. So the blood gene originated out of uh, Central American snakes, and that's Ron Saint Pierre years ago. So we are generally looking at constrictor imperator, but we do have uh, you know. So there's sometimes in some cases we're we're pulling in some of the different genetics that are more Central American and some of these different things. But that snake, it's you can cool. do a, a lot with the genetics of this, the paradigm. But let me just show you him before he moves. I don't really want you to see this. So this, I was talking about, so this isn't a call albino. This is a hypo and an Aztec. But this looks like, like it's, it's like a blood, albino blood boa type thing because I have albino blood boas and I mean this thing is just silly. I got this this snake little I got this guy from John's jungle originally and um he didn't look anything like that but can you see all that modeling? Yeah. And all that like granite look this thing is he's silly. Yeah. Just isn't that, isn't that yeah. one reason why I think it's it's good to do boas too is uh, they're a little bit harder to breed as far as being reliable as far as getting living litters and whatnot and uh, that is Something that that pretty much leaves a the market. There's still a pretty good market uh, Ball pythons are probably easier to breed than boas generally because it's just a matter of getting the eggs out Generally a lot of pythons When you breed them and once they lay the eggs, it's pretty much on you. You no longer have to worry about the female, you know uh, Taking care of her eggs or doing anything so you take away the eggs you artificially incubate them and you pretty much do everything with boas the babies essentially are the whole full term through their life is within the female and anything can go wrong so now you've increased the time period and you also increase your chances for a lot of problems where have you been for the last two weeks building you've been building stuff building cages mr I'm completely Grubby burnt out yeah i'm so tired of building things. have you just secretly want to make videos with me and that's why you're upset no yes yes it is all right here's black and white are they marinated they marinated. That's it. Somebody hug Kevin. Does Kevin need a hug? He is a boy hug. Yeah. He's coming back. There's nothing else to talk about. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. That's, that's the marination. Don Ma says you need a hug. Many hugs. I don't want hugs. No hugs. I don't want hugs. <laughs> so, <laughs> so look at that. We're looking at a couple. I can... Yeah, you should pull them out, you know? Put them on your face for the thumbnail and stuff. That's what me and Jeremy have been doing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is what Brian Barczyk does. I'm just trying to do what my hero does. There you go. Yeah. It's my hero, too. <laughs> Stop. I know your heroes. <laughs> I don't think it's him. I think it's... uh, Who's your real hero? Steve Irwin. That's what I thought. I thought it would be Steve Irwin. All right, there you go. He did such wonderful things for animals. You know what's very sad today, besides Australia burning? I just found out that the Chinese paddlefish has now gone extinct. And it makes me very sad because it's outlived the dinosaurs and can't outlive humans because we suck. <laughs>